Yes, so people, welcome back to another video. And what I've like for you, so today is a match reaction against White Hawk. I'm going to keep it as real as I can. I'm not going to make myself look like a million dollars. I'm going to include the goods, the bads, and what I'm actually going to change up this time because I know I've done quite a few of these last season. But this season, whenever I do these videos, I'm going to do a little tally in the corner where I'm going to count the goods the mediocres and the bads I do in this game. But before we get into that, I know there's a lot of new subscribers to this YouTube channel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down right here and I'm going to go through my journey in men's football, okay? So, see you lot down there. So, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I don't want to bore you okay? I actually started off at Tower Hamlet's reserves team when I was in my first year at a football college. I broke into the men's first team in my second year at the football college. They are step five, by the way. However, during halfway of that season, I joined Bowers and Pitsy's under 23s team. They was playing during the week, and I played with Hamlet's on the Saturday. Anyway, that season finished. I got a call up to Bowers and Pitsy's first team, done a preseason there. However, I knew I weren't really going to be playing. I wasn't going to be playing week in, week out. And that's a vital thing for you youngers that watch these videos. It is so crucial that you play minutes, okay? If it's you having to take a step down to play minutes, Make sure you do it, okay? Because men's football, there's nothing like it. Anyway, I ended up joining Basildon because the other twin freeze manager from Bows and Pitsies joined Basildon. I joined him. We lasted a few seasons there, I believe. I'm not even too sure how long I lasted at Basildon. But um, he ended up getting a sack. The coach at Basildon got the great wake room role. I didn't know that he was interim manager, but I joined him anyway. I lasted about 10 games there. I loved my football there, by the way. It's probably one of the best footballs. Footballs? What? And then I actually joined Hashing and they've actually been on my radar since Tower Hamlet's days, okay, because I actually used to play them in the Essex Senior League. But um, yeah, I played there for a season and a half, loved my football by the way. When I did join halfway through the first season I was at Hashtag, I actually did get the most assists at the club and I think I only played about 16 games. So yeah, that was a very, very good achievement for myself. Um, and then yeah, the following season I ended up signing for Chelmsford in 2023, played a season and a half there. Again, we achieved some very, very good stuff at that club. I got back-to-back -back playoffs in the second season. We ended up getting second place. We achieved the most points Chelmsford have ever got. It was an unforgettable season for sure. And then this season I signed for Maidstone United. So yeah, that's my journey so far for you guys. If you are new to this channel, you now know my journey. If you haven't wanted to know my journey before that, maybe I could save it for another video, but make sure, yeah, you let me know in the comment section down below and leave a like while you're at it. But apart from that, let's crack on with this match reaction. Let's go. Here we go, kick off against White Talk. Let's see what I've got, okay? So their right back has the ball, tries to do one down the line, bangs off my chest. Um, I was just able to play back to Higo, I get it out of my feet, and I was just leave it into a decent area for Aaron to run into. Uh, got onto the ball now, um, he's going to do a little shimmy to the side, and he's going to whack it into the stand, so good start from you, Aaron. Keeper has the ball now, and this goalkeeper had an absolute flipping kaboom on him anyway. Um, went both up, went over both of our heads, and I was able to just see it out for a throw one for us. Next one here, Shaq battling for the ball, I was able to just keep it calm and play it back to Reese. Um, little throw in here, Matt plays it back to me, and this is something that I need to improve on, that is literally just having composure. There, I need to take a touch and then just recycle the ball. I try to play it first time into the box. Through, um, plays me the ball. Again, that's what I should have done, all right? Taking two touches. We were able to keep the ball quite well. Um, little throw on down the line. Oh, it wasn't little, it was flipping big throw to Shaq, and then Shaq's able to win us a corner. After that, goalkeeper tries to ping it out to the right back. Nice little punch header to Shaq. Um, plays it into Arj. Arj to me. Um, again, I was able to just keep the ball. Nothing really was on there. Um, I get the ball again, trying to punch it into Arj, but there again, I've just got to keep the ball, okay? I need to just not force it. Um, there's me working my way back. I, I knew that I made a mistake, so I tried to get it back. Um, punch pass into Shaq. Shaq gets fouled. Nice little pass there. Here's the next bit here. Um, so let me stop it there. The guy's got a free header. I know, my fault. There isn't really any excuse. I've got to be much closer to Reese. Um, obviously, these preseason games are for you to learn things. I basically allowed him to get a free run and head on the ball, so now I know to be more central and just not let these things happen because the geezer that she is very good in the air scores them, all right? So, yeah, that won't be happening again. Got a little bit of stick there. Anyway, Shaq holding the ball up, plays it back to me. I saw a bit of rim back post and. Yeah, Charlie didn't want to make that back post run. Um, me down the line to Aaron, just make a little over, oh, underlap, sorry. Um, and I'd left it in an area. Um, I just feel like maybe Shaq could have come across and got that and maybe won a penalty, but it wasn't to be. 
Um, Charlie whipping in a ball, great area by the way. Their fullback was completely unaware I was there and it was a good ball back across the area, but no one got to the end of it. Next one here, the geezer getting the ball again and this was from a keeper's kick and then something little happens there to Reese, but I'm able to just sweep it up and just clear the ball. I've wounded that geezer so badly as well. Anyway, Charlie whipping the ball into Azza. Azza puts it four foot wide. Hello darkness, my old friend. Um, another ball down the line. Um, I actually thought it came off Azar, so I kept it in. Nice punching him past the shack. Um, I don't know what he does here. Oh yeah, holds it up very, very well. Plays me, and for me personally, I should be hanging that up, but I don't know. Maybe Matt could do a little bit better. Anyway, nice little sliding tackle there. The midfielder just skips past me like there's no tomorrow. Um, here's Matt playing Arj. Arj playing it to Charlie, and you know what? If you're just going to step off him, just, yeah, you're in trouble, mate. He burns him down the line, holds it up back post, and then there is the most weirdest goal you'll ever see. I headed it, yeah. It was going in, but I believe it might have came off Shaq's head or something like that. But here's the replay. Little floated ball back post. He's done enough, and I've literally just headed it down into the ground, which is what you should be doing, and it just came off his back. So, yeah, there's him in pain. Is the goal mine? I don't know, but... To be fair, Mason gave it to me. Anyway, sorry, going back to this. Great block and great save from Alexis. Alexis loved that. Temi, shout out to you as well. Um, here's a little dive from them. Um, good positioning from me to just head it back into an okay area. Aaron getting the ball again. Hitting the post in those sketches. Keeper ain't happy. Alexis, little clipped in ball to me. Little flick around the corner. Matt just dropping a little bit deep. He can go in behind or come short. He's good at that stuff. Aaron now running that. He's... I think that's a centre half, he's wide now, um, doing his thing, flashes the ball across the area and shacks there at the back post to make it 2-0, so that is definitely his goal, very, very good goal, and then after that was the last bit of action in the first half, moving on to the second half now, alright, little throw on there to Higo, um, again there's me actually taking a touch and having more composure, something that I learned from the first half and just biting a foul there, so that's quite good for me, here's me getting the ball now, trying to hit a little dag, it actually was not a bad idea, so... Yeah, we're moving up the pitch quite swiftly. Here's Aaron just putting the ball into the area and we actually end up scoring from it. And Aaron, I'm only joking, mate. Hey, I'm actually going to include the footage just so you're happy, all right? Here's Aaron. Um, yeah, not making a geezer. Fair play, mate. And um, yeah, there's the goal. Well, mate. Oh, my God. Wow. Welcome to the Gulag. If you survive, you earn your freedom. And we are now, you know what? Little header from me, just literally fighting, I'm not jumping there. Um, Matt's setting me, and you know what? There's me saying I've got to have composure, but at times, if you think it's the right idea, do it. We've ended up winning the corner from it, so I think it was a good idea from me. Corner from me, out swinger, into an okay area, well clear from the defender. Um, Reese playing to me, just punching it all the way back to the other centre half. Um, Again, them ones are very awkward for all fullbacks, but I feel like I've improved on them massively. He's been able to just judge the ball. Um, there's a touch tackle. Don't know why that's in there. Um, little throw to Fowler, bringing it down. Little in swinging now into the back post area, and I thought that went in, but it didn't. Um, Riley, touch tackle. Why are these in here, by the way? Um, Temi now, to me, just keeping it safe once again. Another little outswinger into a good area in the middle of the goal, off Fowler's shoulder and into the keeper's hands. And yeah, I think that was that. So yeah, nice little 3 0 victory. So with Ben Brooks after Mason's 3 0 victory over Whitehawk. Ben, another 90 minutes for yourself in the bag. How did you find it today? Um, they're a different type of team to play against. They kept the ball quite well, but um, overall, we had a good performance, defended well. Obviously, to get the amount of goals instead of just one goal, um, yeah, it felt good. Yeah. yeah, and that's the thing, you'd be sort of trying to get him more involved in that thing. Another goal for yourself today, you know, they are starting to chip him a little bit from left back, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's what I spoke to Gaffer before I joined this season. Me playing more attacking as a wing back, um, I just want to contribute towards as many goals as I can. And today, 
Um, I think me and Shaq have a few words about who's going to claim that goal, but um, yeah, I'm delighted to either get a goal or an assist. Is that something you want to try and add to your game more this year? Yeah, 100%. I'm looking for double digits in both attributes in goals and assists, but um, yeah, as long as we win and get the three points, that's most important. And that's the thing. I mean, overall, where's the sort of whole pre season that? How would you say you sum it up so far? Um, I mean, every game I've played in, kept clean sheets, so I think that's a very important um, attribute to have as a defender, is keeping clean sheets. But um, as a Overall, I think we've done really well. Got to carry that into next week's game against St Albans. And um, yeah, it's just positive vibes at the moment. Yeah, no, that's fair, because you've been here for now about just over a month or so. I mean, how have you found it in terms of the club and everything and the playing style that George wants to go with this year? Well, that's something that caught my eye before I joined um, Maidstone. Um, his uh, playing style is very, it's something that I want to be a part of. Um, him getting me as forward as I can, contributing towards as many goals as I can. And um, yeah, the way we've been playing so far, it's been positive. Being on the front foot, we're not a team who wants to sit back, we're going to get as many goals as we can. We're going to literally just do as much as we can to win this league this season. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And you mentioned as well about the St Albans game next week. It's a tough opening game for us to start off with, but you must be really excited now just to get going with it now. Oh, 100%. There's nothing like competitive football. Um, I'm really excited. League, Cup, I'm excited for it all. I want to do as well as I can in everything. And um, yeah, I want, I want to go there next week, get the three points and just keep going. Well, thanks for your time, Brooksy. We'll speak to you during the season. So, what did you sort of think of my performance out of 10? And by the way, I have some video ideas for the future. What I'm going to actually try and do when I do these match reactions is get someone else to react to them with me. So, yeah, I'm going to get one of the players, all right? One of the players are going to react to the game with me so we can have mixed opinions and it'll be a bit more banter, all right? But apart from that, if you don't follow my Instagrams or any other socials, they are going to be in the description down below. I do one-to-one -one coaching so make sure you give me a DM on Instagram and yeah that's that so thank you very much for watching this video in particular make sure you like comment and subscribe so see you soon take care and bye